Greetings everyone, in this video I will show you the newest update of the reboot extension of Automatic 11.11 web UI. The new update brought huge improvement to teach our subjects into stable diffusion models. It is like 10x better than before. This will be a short video of best settings. Therefore, if you are interested in a detailed tutorial, please first watch my very true of the reboot tutorial. Let me show you it. This is the video that you need to watch. So let me show you which commit, which version of Dreamboot and ST Web UI I am using. This is the Dreamboot revision and this is the ST Web UI revision. To use these specific versions, just open the Git bash. You need to install it from uh, Google and then move to your folder, installation folder like this, CD and drag and drop. Then use Git checkout command like this and paste the commit id and now it will check out to that version with the newest update you are able to obtain very highly stylized and very good results with a very simple command like this you see i just added uh, tomar hanika to my uh, token ohwx and as usually i am using the negative prompt and it is able to stylize it very well this is the data set i have used it is not great but it is not also very bad uh, all of the backgrounds and uh, the clothes are different different angles okay now let me show you the best settings uh, this is not necessary, but make sure that you have uh, selected the version 1.5 Pruno CQPT here or whatever the model that you want to train on. Go to the Dreamboot top in the create menu, uh, give a name uh, like uh, tutorial. Now we are uh, checking whether that uh, 512 pixel model or not. Source check, checkpoint, this is the important one, version 1.5 Pruno and create model. You should get a message like this checkpoint successfully extracted to the, our working folder. Go to the settings tab and in here click performance wizard first. Uh, there is also new LoRa version. However, I couldn't get good results with LoRa yet. Hopefully I will make another new video for LoRa. So I am not picking it. Uh, do not check this, uh, this checkbox. It is usually not working. Uh, by the way, the, with the new model, uh, with the new update, it is working much faster than before in terms of number of epoch required to train your uh, subject for example i was able to teach my face with just 30 epochs uh, unlike previously i was using like 150 epochs so still you can set this as 200 uh, set this as zero set this as five because it is getting overtrained very quickly with the newest update i think they have fixed it a lot of things and now uh, this is not automatically checking check it for me i have rtx 3060 uh, uh, when you check this it will uh, actually reduce the memory usage but it will uh, slow down your process and this is also for saving vram so this is constant with warm-up it is uh, fine i didn't change the learning rate it works fine do not check these these box and do not check this checkbox as well here uh, right, this is very important to understand whether you started overtraining or not uh, so photo of OHWX man by Tomer Hanuka. The OHWX is our token. Uh, it is a very rare token and man plus token. Then in the advanced tab, if you have more than 12 GB uh, VRAM, you can check this use Emma. It will improve your success. Use 8 bit Adam. We have 16 X forms. By the way, let me also show you the command line arguments I use it. The only command line argument I use it is x, x, uh, minus minus x formers and I am also using disable safe unpickle but this is not necessary. I didn't add minus minus no half because this is necessary for ST version 2.51. This will slow down your uh, image generation and also training but this is all only necessary for uh, ST 2.1 so if you are not working with ST 2.1 version do not add this it will slow down your process. I am checking cache latency this will speed up the training but it will increase the VRAM usage uh, since I have 12 GB it works fine. I am also training unit if you don't have uh, enough VRAM then you should uncheck this. Okay. It gave an error when I, I, I uncheck it, I, I think they will fix it. So I am leaving this uh, default. There is a new uh, settings as you can see the weight decay of Adam WV optimizer. Uh, it says that this will more generalize your images as you make this number bigger. If you want your subject to be as close much as to you, 
uh, by default it is 0 0.01 i i did left it default and it worked very well and uh, the pet tokens uh, these are for when you are using the file words and shuffle tags image captions related there is also one new another option prior loss i asked this to the developer of the extension uh, developer the answer of the developer is this as you can see uh, scale prior loss decrease the prior loss weight as training progress when you enable it you get a minimum prior loss setting and prior loss target the target is at what epoch should the prior loss weight reach the minimum uh, it's it he also uh, commented as not sure if the, if it matters or helps but it would stand to the reason that as we train our model we want the weight of the class images to be lower than that the instance images as the model should already better know the subject uh, i made test with enabling this and disabling it i think when this is not enabled it worked better for me but it is up to you to test it then we go to the concept Okay, in the uh, directories, as usual, we are setting our first uh, training set directory. This is my training set directory, so I copy it, I pasted it, then set it, set a new. Uh, if you have prior uh, classification images like I have, you can give it its directory, or you can give a new directory like this. Okay, now filers, people are getting very confused with this. Let I will explain to you what is this actually in this video. Let's say you have typed as OHWX here and you have typed file words here. So this will become like this when it is processing. For example, let's say I am using image captions like in this example and the caption of the image is like this. Okay, let me show you. So uh, when I use the uh, configuration like this, it will append the instance token I have write, written in the file words to the beginning. Then it will read the uh, captions here. So the final prompt will be like this. If I also add a word here, let's say example word, then this example word will be appended uh, here. So this is also equal to using like this. When you use it like this, it will become actually exa uh, exactly like this. So this is how file words and instance token work. Uh, works uh, i am not using any file words any uh, image caption so i am setting as the instance uh, token as ohwx man so the ohwx is our token and the man is our class in this video i have very clearly and very detailedly and very technically explained it, uh, how the stable diffusion works how it is composed by vectors and different tokens for class prompt we are using uh, photo of man and for sample image prompt uh, we are using photo, photo of ohwx man as you can see then uh, class image uh, images per instance i have used uh, 48 images and uh, in the saving tab make sure that you are generating a CKPT file when saving during training because um, uh, when you see it is over training you will see, uh, use the certain checkpoint and then click save settings okay i think everything is pretty much ready and just hit train top and it will start uh generating the classification images and after that it will start uh training the model you see the classification images are very weird and if you hand pick the good classification images then it may improve uh, your success is up to you to test but i didn't touch the classification images actually i just used it to whatever it generated okay here the uh, training samples generated during my training so as you can see even in the 10th epoch this is the i have saved preview images and checkpoints every 10 epoch it is already learned uh, very good uh, my subject my face and after 30 epochs we are losing this styling with uh, by using the sanity as you can see in the sanity we use it by tomer hanukkah style so i decided to do my tests on the on just the 30 epochs and it worked very well as i have shown you also when we analyze that uh, you see now we don't even need to increase the a prompt emphasis of our token just using like this a uh, 1.1 emphasis and it is working working very well and with 30 step and with uh, 7 to 720 steps training it is able to fully stylize my 
uh, face and able to generate very beautiful images this is different than the previous uh, trainings of the dreamboot extension of automatic 11 11 uh, so therefore now uh, the things are really different really improved i think what they did is now they are properly able to keep up the prior loss and previously they were not able to keep that so now with a very few number of epochs uh, the model is able to learn our subject very well uh, you still can do a test of different epochs uh, so to do that you just need to use the xi plot and in here you can give the uh, checkpoint names you see it's showing all of the names like this and just delete the ones that you don't want to test and the uh, y plot i suggest you to test cfg value you can test 8 uh, 7 9 10 11 12 and whatever you want and when you do test you can see which epoch is working best for you and i am really um, happy with the newest update because it certainly improved the uh, training quality so check out the newest uh, dreamboot extension thank you very much for watching uh, please like subscribe and leave a comment uh, you can join our discord channel and discuss everything and ask any questions go to the about top of our youtube channel and in the bottom you will see official discord channel link and if you support us on patreon i would appreciate very much this is keeping me to uh, mo do more research and produce better quality videos uh, hopefully see you later in another video